Okay, and now we're going to finish up on our third and final slide on acute appendicitis. Here is a gross specimen. Of course, this one does not look as red as the first one because it's been fixed in formalin. So the fibrin in the native unfixed state may look very red. After fixation, it takes on a creamy white colored appearance. And these arrows will show you the kind of creamier, whiter areas. That's just about pure fibrin, I would say. So let's go to the uh, view now of the microscopic of this. And once again, you see a lumen. You see lymphoid tissue within the mucosa and probably submucosa. You see the wall and you see the fat down here as well. The uh, last remaining couple of questions to close off this appendicitis series is that even though this inflammatory process has destroyed many or most of the mucosal glands, for example here you can't see any columnar epithelium, but in here, in this part of the mucosa, you can actually see a few uh, remaining uh, glands in the middle of this acute inflammatory exudate. Uh, here is an arrow that demonstrates uh, the fibrinopurulent exudate and this was this white milky creamy area which is looks like it's about 50 percent fibrin and 50 percent uh, inflammatory cells. Here's an area in which you see that the wall or the muscular layer is practically gone because of the destructive analytic effect of the enzymes within the neutrophils. And once again, this uh, yellow arrow here demonstrates the uh, remnant of uh, mucosa. So I believe that that should pretty much finish off our view of um, acute appendicitis. We see inflammation in all areas, mucosa, submucosa, muscularis, uh, serosa, and even in the fat. But just to uh, emphasize one very, very, very important thing. From a diagnostic point of view, the criteria needed in order to correctly diagnose an acute appendicitis is to see these neutrophils interspersed between the smooth muscle layers. This is a diagnostic field. Thank you.